We are so close to the end of the season. We've got Martial. We've got Thomas Muller. We've still got Mkhitaryan. But everybody wants Alexis Sanchez. So we're going to sign him in this episode. Finally, a proven Premier League player who's world class is moving to Manchester United. Then again, Lukaku, you can say he's proven. You can say he's not. He's not in form right now. However, definitely underrated. He's done a lot against Stoke City. I need to let you guys know something real quick. But before we do that, go ahead and smash out the like button if you haven't already. Also, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And turn on those post notifications. Also comment in the comment section down below if you want to be in for shout out of the day You can also donate for free. Yep free using gortbox.com for the bros that game as well Yo, we're gonna be bringing back live streams real soon So if you guys want to see certain things on live streams, let me know in the comments down below I don't want to do FIFA. I want to do different things If you want me to bring back the live stream watch along series where we watch games together Man United versus Stoke, Man United versus Burnley, Man United versus Chelsea those big games as well Literally every Man United game. Let me know down below <laughs> Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to Bells Got Gaming. It's your boy Sadio. We are back with another episode of that Manchester United career model. And as you guys know, we were looking at Alexis Sanchez in the last episode and the two episodes before that. And I was asking you guys, should we bring Alexis Sanchez to Manchester United? Now, as you probably noticed throughout literally Twitter, it's been it's been blowing up on Twitter. It's been blowing up on Facebook. It's been blowing up everywhere. However, it has not been blowing up in the room that they should be signing the contract in. It still is not a done deal. Not sure what's going on there. We're going to go ahead and sign Alexis Sanchez on a free transfer in this very episode. Because I believe it's going to go through. Even if Mkhitaryan doesn't sign his side of the contract, I still think Manchester United will put up the 35 mil and say, you know what, let's just sign Alexis Sanchez for straight cash. In FIFA, his value at the moment is £57.5 million. Pounds. His current wage is 230k. We're going to have to try and um, adjust that a little bit because as you guys know we haven't got enough wage budget to probably cover a lot of what he wants he does want to be crucial to the club that's exactly what he wants to be four-year contract we're trying to make this as realistic as possible mate no release course we don't want an arsenal situation okay this is where it gets interesting is asking for a very big wage of three hundred and ten thousand pounds his current wage is actually 230 i'm gonna have to edit it because we haven't got enough to cover anything uh, more than that we're gonna go in there with 180k and probably bring this one up to five mil can i do that we'll submit that offer see what happens my client wants to join your team 290k and 5.2 million signing bonus i'm sorry but my client wants 290,000 pounds per week all right we'll go ahead and do that then we're gonna counter it uh, bring it up a little bit to 270k now. I'm sorry, but oh my god, come on, man. 290,000 is what they want. We really don't have that kind of moolah, mate. We've got 273k we could offer up. How about that? That's literally all of our money right there. That's everything we own. We're giving it to Alexis if he accepts the deal. What do you mean? They're gonna consider the offer. Alexis, Alexis. Where are you walking off? West Bromwich Albion is the first game of the episode. We're going to get straight into it. I want to win this game. We're at Old Trafford and we're playing with these players right here. Except for Anthony Martial. Does have to be dropped. He's got a little bit of a knock from the last game. Thomas Lamar can also slip into that role. So we're going to go ahead and play him. We're also going to change it so Mata can come in off the bench. Mata's just been amazing recently. Hopefully he can keep that form going in the career mode. Uh, Mkhitaryan dropped down to reserves. You can see him down there. He's just he's falling out of favour. As simple as that. Falling out of favor not sure what he's gonna do i am a fan of him i do love the guy but i'm not sure if i want to have him in my squad at the moment maybe he can come back in once the alexis sanchez deal's done but right now mkhitaryan just falling out of favor here we go then west bromwich albion at old trafford the sun is blazing you don't hear that much at old trafford but the sun is blazing for this game we got rashford pogba thomas lamar we've also still got valencia playing for van for Manchester united it could be Manchester united if valencia had anything to do with it but it's Manchester United. We've still got Valencia there. He's now 32 years of age. I'm going to need a replacement soon. Who do you guys want to see? Lukaku. Back top. Here's Casemiro with a long shot. And it's over the bar. Come on. Come on, Thomas. Where are we going with the corner? We've got Pogba in there. Lukaku in there. Loads of height. We're whipping it straight in there. And away. Only as far as Casemiro with a shot. Out to Pogba. What a save from the goalkeeper. Pogba couldn't do anything with his first touch as well. Luckily, West Bromwich Albion still drawing at 0-0. That's all you, Varane. All you, and you've still managed to mess it up, Varane. That's why I'm not sure if I want to keep Varane at the club, man. Eric Boy and Lindelof could be our future partnership. Lindelof plays well. We all know what Eric Boy can do. I'm not sure about Varane at the moment. Come on, Valencia. Rashford, run for me. 
Run for Mirashi. There you go. Lukaku waiting in the centre. Support on the right hand side as well. Lukaku with the header. Bang, bang, boogie. It's 1 0 Manchester United. Just like that. Rashford gets the crossing. Lukaku just comes in at the near post. Puts it straight through the goalkeeper's hands. Look at that. Puts his hands up. Nothing he could do about it. It's way too fast. And Lukaku is back on the score sheet. Rondon for West Bromwich Albion. Plays it on the left hand side to Jay Rodriguez. Back into Rondon. Don't let him score. Good save, De Gea. That is why he's still at Manchester United because he does stuff like that, which could save, which is literally the difference between getting a point or getting three points. I mean, five minutes to go, I will take the one 0 victory. I mean, it's not as much as we've been winning recently, but against West Bromwich Albion, a very defensive team, I'll take a one 0 and it's needed a two 0 Who? What a save! What a save from the goalkeeper. Where's that whistle, ref? It's already been the 90th minute for a couple of minutes now. There it is. Full time, which means we pick up the victory finally. But it is a victory nevertheless. It's another three points on the table. It's a win against West Brom as well. Very defensive team, so I'll take that. Ibra, you've got to think of it from my perspective, man. You're 36 years of age. You think that I was going to fulfill those promises? Are you mad, Ibrahimovic? Are you crazy? Should we sell him? I'm not sure if I want to sell him, but he could be moving. Unacceptable. They've come in with 290k. I just don't have that kind of money, man. That's all it is. I don't have the money. There's always the option that we could lose this game, but we did pull away in the last leg with two away goals. We're winning 2-1 on aggregate at the moment against Atletico Madrid. Rashford comes in up top because I want to try and use his pace up there. Ibra as well, just because he's moaning. We got Asensio in there, Matic in there, Rojo and Eric Bai comes back in. We literally had to replace the whole back four and David the hair because of stamina issues other than that literally the same team i think wait only rashford and pogba survived from the last team i only just realized that before we move forward i want to do my first shout out of the day and my first shout out of the day goes out to my boy bailey colin 9824 if you guys want to be in for shout out of the day all you have to do is follow me on snapchat instagram and twitter and then go ahead and like literally just be active on it or you can just go ahead and subscribe turn your notifications on smash out the like button and then comment down below but yeah i'm on all of those social medias you know what it is at bros got game if you want to hit me up but other than that let's get into the united career mode pray for me boys pray for me if we get past this we get into the semi-finals which means we're one game away from reaching the final of the champions league and if we get there then we get there it's all about what we do when we get there if we get there when we get there let's just say when we get there atletico madrid david de gea's former club we've got oh, oh, so many players that have come from their former club Atletico Madrid to Manchester United and now we're going to play against their former club. Let's get it. Ibra gets back in it though. Ibrahimovic, we got him on the far post. I see you, Martial coming in. Can't get the ball. Ibra back in there as well. Asensio backs it up. Matic! Oh, what a save. What a save. I've only just realised Atletico Madrid produce some really good goalkeepers. De Gea, Old Black, so many good goalkeepers. Matic, Pogba. Into the middle. Bang! Martial Old Black again. How many times is this goalkeeper going to keep us out? Oh, no. This is not good. Loads of players running forward for them. Oh, this is not good at all. Carrasco through and it's over the top of Donnarumma. It's now 2-2 two, two on aggregate. We're winning on away goals. But other than that, it's all level. And we're at Old Trafford. Not the best of scorelines we could have came for, man. 2-2. Two, two. Atletico Madrid back in it to win it, man, by the looks of things. Look how much space he's got. Why have we left him open? Rashford into the middle. Asensio takes control of the ball well into Rashford. Rashford round his man into the middle. Oh, he was there. He was there, boys. Matic get in there, man. Don't let them have the chance. Griezmann tries to play it in. Ah, they've got the chance. It's 2 0. What is that? I've stepped in there, got the tackling, but it still fell to his feet as Saul, the guy who literally put, ripped my team apart when he ran through in the last game. A squad is 2 0. What's going on? They're winning 3 2 on aggregate. If we score one goal now, it goes to extra time, and we can't be dealing with that, especially with the stamina issues we've already got. Martial loses it to Goldine. Oh, thank you. Matic into the middle. It's Ibrahimovic. Oh my god. That's why you don't play, Zlatan. That is why you don't play. Oh my god. I'm a freaking god. Shut up, Zlatan. I love the guy, but in this game, it's, he just declines, mate. Why is that finishing? I double tapped it. Come on, Rojo, bring that ball forward for me. It's a good ball into Anthony Martial. Rashford's waiting for it. We've got support as well on the far side. It's Martial into the middle. This is Zlatan. Zlatan back into the middle. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. 
Beautiful football from Manchester United going forward. Anthony Martial is here to stay. I talked about him in the last episode. I was like, if we brought in Lucas Moura, where would Martial go? That's exactly where he goes. Into the first teammate. Thomas. Vitolo, Thomas again. Don't let him through. Don't let him through. Ah, get in the way. What? I can't look right now. No. No. I'm not taking that. <sighs> Donnarumma, long throw for me, please. We need two goals, yo. Two goals. Here goes Rashford. We've got players running for us as well. Here goes Anthony Marcia. Eric Boy even. Through the middle. Come on. Rashford. Let's go. Let's go. That's 3 2. Let's get it, boys. Let's get it. Come on. Two minutes to go. Two minutes to go. Oh my god. Come on, boys. We got this. They're, they're winning on away goals. We need another goal. Come on. They've all gone up for it for Atletico Madrid. I don't know why, but they've all gone up for it. Play to the edge of the box. Felipe Luis. And it's out. And that's goal kick. And that is full time. And I'm pretty sure Atletico Madrid have gone through on away goals. God's sake. Tournament prize money 6.5 million. Let's just call it what it is, yo. Alexis Sanchez needs to come to the club. Champions League football right now isn't important because it looks like we're going to win the league anyway. And I want to win the FA Cup. So the FA Cup and the league are what we can now concentrate on. And it was a good team as well. Atletico Madrid were just too good. I'm sad, okay? It's just what it is, man. I'm so sad that we've been kicked out of the Champions League. I wanted to win the Champions League in my first season at Manchester United, but let's just admit it for a second. That was just not being realistic. Manchester United were never going to win the Champions League in the first season under a new manager, and that's exactly what we were trying to do. We just managed to make it to the quarterfinals. We'll go ahead and check who's in the semi-finals now, but I want to concentrate on the Premier League and the FA Cup. Not Australia, that is for sure. Oxford United? Oxford United have made it to the semi-finals of the FA Cup. Who have they beaten? I'm pretty sure they had a hard team to go against. They've beaten Liverpool. <laughs> Lol. And they also beat, I think that's Preston. I've given players like Emre Moore, Redmond, McTominay, those kind of players, starts in Champions League football. It's time to give them some FA Cup football as well. We're going to go ahead and simulate the game. Probably not a good idea, especially after losing to Atletico Madrid. Three goals to two and 4-4 four, four on aggregate. However, I believe in my team. Pereira's out there. Riley's out there. Sasenyon starts as well. Carrick out there after a long time. I think he may be retiring at the end of the season. If it's not, then he might be retiring in the next season. He's definitely going to be retiring soon. At the moment, he wants to stay at the club, so we'll let him just die off at the club. McTominay doesn't get the goal. I thought it was McTominay for a second. Then Sasenyon, however, does get the goal. And then there's a few substitutes. For some reason, we're bringing on Valencia even though I'm trying to rest Valencia for the next game against Bournemouth because hopefully that is like the FA Cup final thing that could be happening. Lukaku comes off the bench and scores as well. It's 2-0. We're progressing to the final. It is what it is. Let's get it. Thanks boss. No worries Pereira. He's only 21. He's still improving. Oh, does this mean we get money in? Because I do need money in. Tournament prize money. We've made a million as well. Hopefully we can afford Sanchez because of this tournament prize money. We've also got an offering of 18 million from Barcelona for Rojo. Don't want to get let him go for 18.1 million because I've already rejected like 19 mil, 18.4. You can see it right there. All right, Alexi, how you doing, man? We want to go ahead and edit the wage and stuff, all right? I'm still willing to give you quite a good offer. Just not as good as you were looking for, but definitely quite a good offer. I'm going to try and uh, give you exactly what I've got. That's 277k, 4.7 mil signing bonus. That's a huge signing bonus as well, Alexi. Huge increase in your current wage, which is 230k. Please take my deal, Alexi Sanchez. I'm not quite happy with what my client was hoping for. But finally, oh, he's willing to join the club because he wants to love Manchester United. He wants to join Manchester United, mate. He's took every last penny that we've got, but he's joining the club. Alexi Sanchez and Lionel Messi are joining us in the summer. Look at that. He's absolutely bankrupt us. But in the next season, we should be getting 200 mil in anyway. So we'll be having Lionel Messi, Alexi Sanchez, and 200 mil. And we'll have a Premier league trophy to our name and hopefully an FA Cup. Watford could potentially have a Champions League spot. They've got a game in hand of Chelsea and Tottenham Hotspur and Arsenal and they're only five points off Arsenal, two points off Spurs and joint with Chelsea. So if they win their game, they go into third in the league. Watford. 
That's crazy. Same with Liverpool, actually. Liverpool and Watford could go up. But yeah, like I was saying, we've got Bournemouth, who probably aren't going to be our FA Cup finalists now that I've looked at the table. Watford are probably playing out there. We've got players, like like I said, we wouldn't usually play, but hopefully they can go out there and do the job. We're going to simulate the game. Perea's out there again. Riley's out there again. Literally the same team with a couple of changes here and there. I'm hoping for a win. Go out there, do the business. Kaboom! And we come away with a nil-nil draw. Nothing big, nothing small. It is what it is at the end of the day. It's a stalemate. It tends to happen sometimes. Arsenal's coming up. They're probably getting happy. They're probably low. Look at Man United's team over the last couple of games. They've been playing with Ibrahimovic and Emre Moore up top. Go boom. We switched the team around real quick, mate. Ander Herrera will not be in the team, though. I'm going to drop him because he's played the last couple of games to play Asensio on that right-hand side. He's got a left-footed curler on him, mate. We could hopefully get that going as well. Eric Bailly comes back into the squad. Other than that, that is the team. David De Gea back in goal as well. I want to see them win against Arsenal. Alexis Sanchez's team. Where's your Sanchez? Where's your Sanchez gone? Manchester United versus Arsenal. Here we go. Alexis Sanchez may be starting in the lineup, by the way. I'm not sure where they at, but they're definitely going to lose this game because I'm out for the win, boys. And if we pick up the win, then it does mean Arsenal could be going potentially out of a Champions League position thanks to us giving them the loss. And obviously, Alexis Sanchez won't be happy with that, but he'll have to deal with it, all right? He'll have to come to the squad knowing that we made sure they didn't have Champions League next season. Coquelin, good tackle, and we can get away with it. Into the middle, Martial, Rashford, round his man, it's still Marcus. Rashford takes a shot, Peter Cech with a save straight at us. And Anthony Martial pops in the rebound, it's 1-0. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. To me, Cech just hasn't been the player that he was at Chelsea, man. It's literally like Chelsea downgraded him. They were like, you know what, Cech, let's just go ahead and chop your fingertips off and then give him to Arsenal. That's what they've done, I'm telling you, they've chopped his fingertips off. He's always inches away from the ball, have you noticed that? Hear that? Oh, good header from Martial. Somehow got there. Rashford. Rashford into the feet of Romelu. Good block. Penalty. I don't know where that's come from. I was waiting for it to be laid off to Paul Pogba. He was coming in for it. And all of a sudden, Lukaku was like, Nah, mate, I'm going down. I'm going to sleep, mate. Give me a pen. Romelu Lukaku to take the penalty. Here he is. The big Belgian man. Straight at the keeper. Romelu Lukaku coming in again. What was that slide? Lacazette. Into the middle, Coquelin loses the ball to Casemiro, and here go United. I'm waiting for the run from Anthony. Anthony Martial passes, man. I'll catch you later, son. Into the middle, bang, and it's 2 0. Easy peasy. I'm telling you, Romelu Lukaku couldn't convert the penalty. It was like, don't worry, sonny. I'll make it up to you, mate. I'll bang one into the back of the net from an Anthony Martial cross. And that's exactly what he's done. Like I said, Peter Cech, he's got no fingertips. Finally, the negotiations have been finished for the Alexis Sanchez deal. And now, with us signing him up, we can finally get some good results behind us. Obviously, you can tell because we're playing really decently. Arsenal not playing too bad, to be honest, but they are playing, uh, uh, let's say, below expectations as they get it in. And Ozil scores. Just as I say, they're playing really bad. Ozil goes ahead and scores. It's a beautiful header from him. That's why I wanted to sign him. I wanted to sign Mezu Ozil and Alexis Sanchez. I just don't have the money for it. It's as simple as that. And Ozil pops one in. It's now 2-1. We're still in the lead. Where's Arsenal going now? They're on the right-hand side. They're trying to keep the ball over there. I'm not sure why. It is coming up to half-time. Are they going to get a goal just before it? Hopefully not. Played into the middle. Alexis Sanchez. He gets a shot away. He missed on purpose. And that's a good save from De Gea. Luckily, De Gea is good. Come on. Good header. Asensio lays one off to Lukaku. Lukaku looks back, finds his mate Pogba. Kazawa back into Pogba. Plays it back again. Asensio into Rashford. Rashford round his men. That's a pen. He's brought me down out of frustration there. Give him that red card, mate. He's coming from behind, ref. Yellow. Paul Pogba stepping up for Manchester United. Here we go. It's Paul Pogba and he puts it in. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and that's 3 1 to Manchester United. Now, there's no way back for Arsenal, especially with only half an hour to go. We just don't tend to concede so many goals so quickly. However, Atletico Madrid did try to rip us a new one. We did, however, manage to try and make our way back into the game. We didn't get through. All right, I'm still thinking about that, all right? But we've still scored. Paul Pogba with it. 3 1. Come on. Where's that whistle, ref? Blow it up for full time. It's into the middle. And into the center again. Ibrahimovic plays it out wide. And there it is. Just as we're breaking it, we could have been scoring. He blows the full-time whistle. We've won against Arsenal, which could, in fact, 
send them down the pecking order and potentially knock them out of a Champions League spot. That's two goal difference off them as well. Let's get it. Spurs in for matter as well. What's going on here? Everybody's coming in for one matter. I'd rather sell him to Atletico than Tottenham Hotspur simply because of obviously the rivalry between the Premier League and I don't want to come up against him. But why is everybody coming after one matter? Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys have enjoyed it, you know what to do. Smash out the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new and also turn on your post notifications. That would be great. You can also comment in the comment section down below if you want shout out of the day in the next video. And speaking of shout out of the day, today's shout out of the day goes out to my boy Charlie McDonough. McDonough? McDonough? I'm not sure how you say that. You can see it on the comment down below. I love your videos and I always watch them when I come back from school. I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate you guys whenever you watch them as long as you watch them and you let me know that you guys enjoy them and how you want me to change the videos i appreciate it man but anyway it has been me you guys have been great you can catch me on all my social medias and donate through goldbacks.com forward slash bros.game and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace